So what's going on right now is that whenever we play and we shoot, the firebolts are shot by both characters. Or if we have five characters, the five players will shoot the firebolt at the same time. And that's not what we want. But by the way, now um, shooting is very different because shooting needs to be completely synchronized. Why? You don't want uh, the, the shooting to happen on one end, on one client, and then you don't see it on another client. So you actually need to tell or send a message to the server and tell the server, hey, we want the character to be able to shoot right now. And that's exactly what we want to do here. We want to send a message to the server and then the server will tell all the other clients that uh, player blue or player red is actually shooting. So how do we do this? Let's open the player shoot script inside of the Iron Man prefab. You will see that there is um, there is a player shoot script. So double click on it and let's open it. All right, we've already been there before because we created the initialized projectile and the uh, spawn prof projectile. Before we go any further, let's make this network compatible. How do we do this? Well, inside of the using statement, we get to say that it's using the Unity Engine networking, right? So Unity Engine dot networking. All right. Now that we have this, change the mono behavior to the network behavior. Network behavior. There it is. All right. Now, what we want to do is actually um, tell the network server that we are spawning an action. So we're spawning here. Instead of the spawn, we're telling those network. So network server, which is supposed to be right below. So as you can see, there's a client, but we want is the, the server. So network server, look for it right here, is the high level network server. That's exactly what we want. Dot, and we want to spawn it on the server, dot spawn. And then we say what we want to spawn. Then obviously what we want to spawn is the current prefab object. Current prefab object, all right. Now, the next thing we want to do is also make sure that we are only shooting if this is the local player. So inside of the update right here, we want to say that we want to shoot only if it's the local player. So if is local player, so if it's not, then we return. Okay, return, all right. And then we want to shoot and the shoot needs to happen on the server and to do that, we need to make sure to, to add the, the, uh, the tag command so that it sends it to the server. That's how Unity wants it to be. When you send something to the server, it needs to become a command. So in front of that shoot right here, I'm, go, I'm gonna add the command, um, the, the command um, uh, line right here. And inside of this, the shoot needs to change. It needs to have the word CMD for command in front of it. So I'm gonna add CMD. Why? Uh, because that's what Unity wants as a standard so that we know we are doing this. Now that I've done this, I need to change the script because shoot does not exist anymore. It's CMD shoot and same thing here, CMD shoot. All right, now I can save this and we're pretty much ready to go here at this point because we are shooting and we're only shooting when it's the, main, when it's the local player and then what we do here is actually spawning the current prefab. So save this, go back to Unity, and now we gotta tell the network manager that the firebolts are also processable on the network. So we gotta go to the network manager. And if you look, there's a register spawnable prefabs. So this is the list of things that are spawnable on your environment and uh, that are spawnable on the server as well. So I'm gonna click on plus and I'm going to select within the assets, the firebolt, All right? And obviously I want the firebolt and the firebolt blue. So plus again, and I'm going to select the firebolt blue. All right, make sure you do this because if you don't, you're not going to be able to spawn them. Save this. All right. So as you can see here, I have two games playing now and I can move the character here, as you can see. It's not moving in the other scene, but that's okay. We need to be able to do that, but at least I'm only moving one character. Now I'm going to shoot and as you can see when I'm shooting it shoots in both of them. Okay, so great. So now the server is telling okay now you're going to shoot in, um, in both the server and all the clients. So that's great. 
However, now we need also to be able to move the character, right? So that's great. And let's try here. As you can see, it's shooting here too as well. But as you can see, this one died, but not this one. So we got to fix all of this. But at least we have the shooting working. Great. Let's keep on moving. 